Ladybugs. Ladybugs by Erin Frisch. Hello, ladybugs. Ladybugs are bugs that fly. Ladybugs live in many places. Sometimes they get into people's houses. Ladybugs have round shells. The shells have black or white spots. A ladybug's shell covers its wings. The wings come out when the ladybug flies. Ladybugs eat mites and aphids. Some kinds of ladybugs eat plants. Baby ladybugs come from eggs. They look like worms with legs, then they grow shells. Ladybugs try to find mates. They fly around. Goodbye, ladybugs. A picture of a ladybug. First, you're gonna see the ladybug's head, the thorax, the abdomen is next. You're gonna see the foot on each of the six legs. On the ladybug's head, you're gonna see an antenna and you're gonna see his eye. You'll also see the shell, which is the part that has the spots. You can also call those the elytra wings. Underneath, you're gonna see those clear, transparent wings that help the ladybug to fly. Here are some fun words to learn that we're gonna be using about our ladybug. The first one is aphids. Try and say that, aphids. And those are bugs the ladybug likes to eat. And they're bugs with soft bodies that live on plants. Mates are other animals that ladybugs meet and have babies with. Mites. Those are the tiny animals with eight legs that live on plants or in dirt that they love to eat. The shells are also called elytras. Those are hard coverings to protect the ladybug, almost like our fingernail. Hi, Sequoia families. It's me, Teacher Elaine again. So we've been learning about the ladybug this week. And after reading this story, the ladybug, I want you guys to take out your journals, get some markers or your colored pencils, and draw me a ladybug. Remember, it has a head, a thorax, and it's big abdomen. It has three legs on one side and three legs on the other, which makes six. It has two antennas. It also has one set of those red elytra wings. And when it opens those up, the super clear transparent wings pop out so it can fly. And remember, it loves to eat those aphids or those mites to protect the flowers. So I can't wait to see your drawings. Don't forget to write your name on them and tell somebody, describe what you drew. Bye boys and girls.